MVTS is buzzing again, up 56.87%. In the regular session, it gained 21.14%. This is Monday, the 13th of October, 2025. Intraday high in this session, of $14.28. On Saturday, we had an extrapolation, and, and we were saying that um, the probability of it uh, surpassing $9 on some fraction was so tiny. But I also mentioned that, um, yes, within all that uh, tiny probability, a lot can still happen, and it did happen, you know. But um, the, the 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 main thing there was that um, it had, it wasn't it wasn't rated, you know. The 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 it, it wasn't giving any chance. Statistically, it didn't have any chance of uh, printing the highs it printed today. Even the extrapolation was saying that um, even the algos were saying that uh, it was going to decline. Well, it's, it's it's either that it was it was going to remain strong up to today and then decline by tomorrow, but um, um, going by what we have now, it's saying that it's going to remain strong up till uh, Wednesday and then even maybe decline, just correct, contract briefly up the, to on Thursday, and then after that the uptrend may resume. You know, projections are currently saying eight point five, eight point three five, but we have already seen um fourteen point two eight here. You know, so um maybe. Higher highs may continue to play out, you know, given um, what's going on right now. You hear about what's going on right now. So the stock is trading at a huge premium, a decent premium to all of its moving averages. So uh, the 10 and 21 day moving averages are trending. However, the 21 day moving average has a fractional second derivative indicating that people are selling and they are taking profits, you know. Yeah, so positions opened from 10 days ago all the way to 200 days ago are uh, currently in uh, profit. So this is its uh, four hour chart. It's saying that it's, it's going to remain strong up till midday tomorrow, then contract somewhat up till um, the pre-market session of Wednesday, and then they resume the uptrend. And after that, uh, a contraction may resume, you know, but um, you really can't rely on these extrapolations completely. Yeah, if all things remain equal, I think to some extent they may turn out to be good, but um, not always. Yeah, if I mean, going by what you're going to hear now, then, you know, when, when such things occur, when uh, a positive uh, catalyst um uh, materializes or you know some news or broader market uh, tailwinds you know you know any negative um the chance of um, negative extrapolations disappearing will will always be there you know so yes here um derivatives on the the, the price pressure momentums are all trending robustly yeah are all robustly trending yeah positions opened all the way back to uh 800 hours ago yes in profit at the moment yeah so let's see what's going on it's some there's been some new development concerning the company here's a detailed and expanded version of nvts update focused on its new product launch and connection to nvidia's 800 vdc ai factory architecture Navitas Semiconductor has unveiled a new generation of high-performance power devices, including 100V GAN FETs, 650V GAN, and high-voltage Seq solutions, designed specifically for NVIDIA's 800 VDC AI factory architecture. This announcement is being widely discussed among investors and the semiconductor community as it positions Navitas as a key enabler of the next wave of AI infrastructure buildouts. Next-gen power solutions for AI factories. These new devices are engineered to deliver breakthrough efficiency, power density, and performance, addressing one of the biggest challenges in AI data centers, energy consumption and thermal management. NVIDIA's 800 VDC AI factory architecture represents a leap in how data centers are powered, aiming to reduce conversion losses and improve overall system efficiency, making power solutions like Navitas's GAN and Seq technologies increasingly mission critical. Why this matters for the AI revolution? Traditional silicon-based power components struggle to keep up with the massive energy demands of advanced AI workloads. By leveraging GAN and Seq, 
Navitas is offering solutions that can handle higher voltages and power levels more efficiently, enabling lower energy losses, smaller and lighter power systems, improve thermal performance, and reduce total cost of ownership for AI infrastructure providers. This aligns directly with NVIDIA's push to scale its AI factories, physical data center architectures purpose-built for massive training and inference workloads. Strategic positioning with NVIDIA. The fact that these new devices are purpose-built for NVIDIA's 800 VDC architecture strengthens the strategic relationship between the two companies and underscores Navitas's role in the broader AI supply chain. Investors see this as a potential catalyst for deeper integration or expanded partnerships with major hyperscalers building on NVIDIA's platform. Investor and market reaction. Following the announcement, retail investors and analysts have started discussing potential revenue acceleration as demand for AI factory power components grows, NVTS's competitive positioning versus other GAN and Seek providers, speculation around further strategic partnerships or acquisitions, and the long-term growth runway tied to global AI infrastructure buildouts. While some traders remain cautious due to macroeconomic conditions and execution risks, others view this product launch as a major validation moment for Navitas's technology and its place in the AI ecosystem. Bottom line. Navitas's new GAN and Seek power devices aren't just another product release. They're a direct play on NVIDIA's next generation AI factory strategy. If adoption scales as expected, this could significantly boost Navitas's market share, margins, and strategic value in the fast growing AI infrastructure market. Okay, so this is uh, what's going on. Uh, the market for the stock is looks uh, quite uh, liquid. Aggressive and passive uh, investor uh, traders are participating. You can see orders are going through at uh, various prices. At various prices, yes. Um, even though aggression is there, because you know aggression is definitely what is behind this gain of fifty five percent. You can print again of uh, um, um, even again of. 9% or 10% is usually the stuff of aggression, you know, let alone 55, uh, 55%. A gain of 10% may, is likely uh, a decent amount of aggression may, may be there, but, you know, we can clear it. I mean, if, if a gain of 55%, obviously, it doesn't look natural, you know, not, you know, I mean, yeah, 55%, not um, surely, surely something is behind it and this is it's definitely aggression so you know aggression when people uh when uh, uh, orders are going through at uh, the market price you know this is the, the prevailing price is, is uh 1280 so these guys are aggressive you know they they use market order and once they use market order then they are aggressive and then they what they do is that their orders thin out the market so they obviously if you are the one you would want to accept the orders or i mean if you're selling something you'll be accepting orders you'll be accepting um orders that uh, are going through on what you are what is prevailing all the other folks telling you of various prices they just have to wait on the sidelines you know because you have people who have who, have, who are willing to deal right away they are willing to deal right away you know so but here we have it's it's open the mark the market is broad so it's liquid it's liquid it's not um, it's not thinned out they're not uh both the aggressive ones and the passive ones are participating so when the passive guys are you know uh kept in the sidelines then like you know when you have a short squeeze you know those those sort of situations see prices going up 300 percent 1000 percent definitely it's not the market for passive hands you know it's definitely you know the stuff of aggression you know and that in that sort of situation uh the passive hands are not participating they are just observing they can't participate they're not participating you know but here it's 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 diverse it's diverse you know yeah so that's what's going on um i'll definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video